What's going on guys, thanks for tuning in again to another video. Now that is us officially four and a half weeks out from the next competition which brought us on to deadlifts and today was a really really exciting day uh, and overall a day that went very very well. So again we were doing the same as what we've done in squats, we we're adding on uh, another rep to the top set of 277.5 kilos or 610 pounds for sets of four uh, and then we're doing two working up sets before that and then after all of that we're to go up to 290 kilograms or 638 pounds which was 92 percent for two singles and um it was a really really good feeling actually because if you may or may not know at my last competition on the 19th of April my third attempt was 290 kilograms on deadlift and I missed it I missed it quite badly actually I got the bar to my knees and I just could not complete the lift whatsoever it was a very poor attempt and I missed 290 kilos badly so to then kind of midway through a cycle um, while we overreached and then doing all this volume with doing all this workload before it to then be doing 290 kilos for two singles which both by the way um, move very very well which you will obviously see is um, slightly surreal, it is phenomenal, uh, it is really 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 good and it's a really good feeling and just really showing that everything's heading in the right direction and I'm not saying that at my last competition I shouldn't have hit the 290 because I should have, uh, absolutely no excuses uh, always hold myself to a high standard. I should have, without a doubt, hit the 290 kilos or 638 pounds at my last comp, but I didn't. Um, so th these things happen, but it's still amazing to actually be hitting it uh, under these circumstances for singles, even though I've pulled 305 kilos since then, but still, uh, and again, just gonna really make sure that I don't make the same mistakes I made at my last competition uh, whatsoever. Uh, and going to really, really pull a really big deadlift for the third attempt. Um, and yeah, after that, after the first two attempts, third attempt, going to put a big PB on there and um, hopefully going to smash it. And based off my training, I should be smashing it. Uh, and again, the last rep, one thing I'm really, really happy with as well is um, the positioning of my um, torso and upper back throughout the whole movement. Um, everything's remaining really, really tight. And uh, one thing I've actually been doing a lot is uh, weighted planks recently, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of weighted planks and I've actually got to 50 kilo weighted planks uh, so basically I put 50 kilos on my back and I've been holding that for sets of 40 seconds um, which is a uh, um, PR for me and um, one thing I've noticed is from doing that um, because obviously that is forcing me to keep my body uh, extremely tight and my core extremely tight and, and rigid and impregnable and um, everything to fire and work as one, I feel that that's really helped improving my positioning and maintaining positioning and stability uh, throughout my squats and also deadlifts and it's become really noticeable and it is also kind of common sense as if you are really really able to brace very hard and, uh, during a plank and maintain positioning during a plank, that is going to have a direct carryover onto maintaining positioning during stuff like squats and bench presses and even stuff like overhead presses. And then we finished off with some back work. I had five sets of eight of um, supinated bent over rows, and then had five sets of eight with single arm rows, then done some face pulls, some side laterals, some biceps, and then finished off with the plank. Uh, so still keeping volume and all access work fairly high for the time being, but it definitely will start to taper down as we get closer to the competition. Job done. Um, today was pretty hard workout, but it was really, really good. Everything really, everything went to plan. Uh, and everything was executed really well and actually from watching the footage back uh, I'm very very pleased with the way my deadlifts were looking uh, I felt that my actual form breakdown was absolutely minimal and my form was just looking the way I want it to be and then um, again I'm always trying to pick positioning over momentum um, unlike I used to I used to do in the opposite always trying to focus on positioning and uh, just focusing on making a smooth lift um, because at the end of the day, as Mike Tashir says, smooth is fast, smooth is fast, smooth is fast, and that's what I need to keep reminding myself. But overall, 
absolutely buzzing to think that at my last competition the 19th of April I actually failed a 290 deadlift to then be me doing it there under those conditions is awesome uh, and I'm really really happy with how today went and uh, yeah we've currently just got hopefully this doesn't steam up the thing I've got two pieces of salmon cooking in there uh, so I'm going to eat them up and then I'm going to go back into the garage and uh, I'm going to go on my inversion table probably sit on my inversion table for maybe 25 minutes something like that uh, and really really working traction on my knees and my hips uh, and my, my spine as well and then uh, hopefully wake up feeling really really good tomorrow so i hope you enjoyed today's video guys like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll speak to all of you guys next time